What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Now, picture this. You're in Crucible, you're getting your ass kicked. Oh wait, you can see it on the screen. We're getting our ass kicked. And then all of a sudden you channel your inner Super Saiyan, your childhood dreams. You start yelling at the top of your lungs. There's veins popping out of your damn skull. You go absolutely fucking nuts. That's what you're gonna see me do. We're still gonna end up losing. You know, I wanna post a game that we're fucking losing. I don't need to always post games that we win, but God damn it, will you see an Ark Warlock that fucking tickles the shit out of people. It was awesome. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's talk about some serious shit right now. Number one. Bungie is introducing the Banhammer Dick Squad. They about to go around Banhammer Dick the shit out of people. Everybody that's cheating in Destiny is about to get the Banhammer Dick. And I hope you do. All you motherfuckers out there that have DDoS people, kick them out of games, fucking shut down internets and shit. Fuck you. Alright, Bungie's coming after you. They tweeted out and they did it in their weekly update, which we're going to talk about skill based matchmaking as well, guys. So stay tuned. Alright, I'm going to try to play devil's advocate for that. But all you piece of shit motherfucking cheaters better hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your controllers, your boxes, your consoles, your keyboard and mouse. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Hide it because they're coming after you. There have been many games where my brother and I are late in our Trials of Osiris card and we get kicked out of the fucking game. Or the person we're carrying gets kicked out, which is even fucking worse because we can still try to 1v3, but if the person we're carrying gets kicked out, he automatically gets a loss and it sucks. Let me know if it's happened to you guys, alright? It doesn't really matter in regular Crucible, but it does matter in competitive playlists like Trials of Osiris. And it's very real, people. If it's happened to you, post in the comments below, talk about it, let Bungie know, let the voices be heard baby hit a like on this video if you want all those fucking ban hammer shit fucks to get banned damn it all right let's talk about the real shit skill based matchmaking how many of you go into matchmaking and want to relax but then you're playing against people that are so fucking try hard and you are sweating you have to take a shower after every time you play destiny and you were fucking clean before you started so it's a big problem all right but I'm gonna try to play devil's advocate and I'm gonna try to defend Bungie on some of the points that they made. Now let's talk about some of those points. I'm not gonna read it off verbatim, but I'm just gonna give you a synopsis, all right? There's three things that Bungie said. Number one, we're gonna help you find people near you that will also have good connections. This game does not have dedicated servers. This game needs to find people close to your region to keep the connection as good as possible. Now that's not always the case, but I will tell you that they do look for people that live close to you first because there have been many times we've matched up with people also in Washington State or in the Northwest and my brother and I if we are in two separate parties and we go to the tower we'll most likely land in the same tower proving their point right. Their next thing is after they find a pool of people that have good connections more than likely people that live close to you then at that point they'll expand the search and then they'll look at their um, kind of their skill level and try to pair you with people that have a similar skill level I don't agree with that, Bungie. If you're gonna do that, have a separate playlist. Have a ranked separate playlist like you did in Halo. You did it so well in Halo. You had ranked gaming, you had social gaming. It was perfect. Please implement that back, Bungie, okay? I agree with everything else you're doing, but you need to implement that back. Now, the next thing they said is if you can't find matches with those two things, then they're just going to expand the search. And that's pretty much when you play people in Nigeria, but you live in Washington State. Makes absolutely no sense. But Bungie, please, please, please rebalance the game. I don't like how powerful shotguns are. There's less and less snipers. I mean, snipers are still pretty good, but there's less and less snipers. Pulse rifles and hand cannons are the freaking meta right now. We need to get a little rebalance. I loved year one with that Suros, man. That Suros, that auto rifle was beautiful. All right, let's see if we can uh, maybe make primaries in general more powerful so people don't, you know, just resort to, I see people running around with shotgun and that's all they do. I know you guys have seen me use a shotgun in the video, but hey, this is the meta right now, all right? I'm not trying to get my ass kicked. I'm trying to actually put up a fight. But thank you guys so much for listening to this video. If you guys liked it, hit a like button and I'll let more people see it. Maybe let Bungie see it. Please do check out the description below. Follow us on Twitter at RealTKO Gaming and on Twitch at RealTKO Gaming. Big changes coming up and I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay blessed, my friends. And uh, let's keep grinding and beasting. Peace.